Patterns, describing clothes, English vocabulary lesson. Animal print, made to resemble the characteristic pattern of the skin or fur of an animal, such as a leopard, tiger, giraffe, etc. Argyle, a pattern of diamond shapes on a plain background. This pattern is used more with items made of wool, such as socks or sweaters. Camouflage. Traditionally used by soldiers so they can blend or hide without being noticed in their surroundings. Typically, it has shades of green with black and brown. Sometimes this word is shortened to just camo. Checked consists of alternating squares of different colors. Sometimes checkered, also written as checkered, is used instead of checked. Checked is used in British English and American English. Checkered, with a ck spelling, is used in American English. Checkered, with the Q-U spelling, is used in British English. Floral. Decorated with a pattern or pictures of flowers. Sometimes flowered or flowery is used instead of floral. Paisley. A detailed pattern of curved shapes that look like feathers or a teardrop shape with a curved end. Pinstriped. A pattern of very thin, usually white or pale, parallel lines on a darker colored cloth. Played. A pattern of horizontal and vertical bands or lines in multiple colors that cross each other. Note, tartan is a type of plaid used to identify a community or clan, typically of Scotland. Plain. Not decorated in any way. With nothing added. Without a design, it consists of one color. Polka dot. A regular pattern of round spots of the same size and color on a background of a different color. When the spots are different sizes and or color, then it is called spotted. Striped. Marked with a pattern of stripes which are long lines of color. Stripe is the noun. Striped is the adjective. Tie-dyed. Consists of tying or twisting portions of the fabric or clothing so that parts of it will not absorb the dye. This process is known as tie-dyeing. Pay attention to the spelling of this verb. There are more types of patterns that you will see on clothing, though these are the most common words that people know and use. I hope you found this lesson about patterns and describing clothes useful. If you did, click like and subscribe to our channel so you know when we create new lessons to help you improve your English. Have an awesome day.